about 100, uh, 150 yards to the back. Uh, yep. Which way? Just go straight. Huh? Just go straight on back. Straight on back? What does that mean? Straight on back. Right under that little cedar tree right, right there. Right under that cedar tree. Oh, he right. had, he that could, a cypress tree. It could be called a juniper. That's, that's true. Could be. Is he buried here, Grandma? There's a piece there. Yeah. No. And then a mound. No, he's got a, he had a, he didn't have a headstone. He had a, he had a, uh, Watch out for the ants, Dad. He had a wooden headstone. This one says E-R on it. E-R? Then that would be Ed Riles. That's it. It sure would. That's E R. I thought it, it had a wood. Is there any number? No, it just says. Well, hell, we need to clean this damn place. Yeah, that's what Reverend Poole was wanting us to do. He was wanting us to. He said he'd love to see it get cleaned up. What's the first letter? Actually, it's O E R. Oh, I don't know what O E R is. Yep. Um, memory. Oh, shit. Almost knocked over the damn headstone. In memory of O'Connor E. Riles, devoted wife of E.C. Riles. August 16, 1854 to November 16, 1887. Now, what's interesting is that there's a, uh, like a hand clasp there. Yeah, there's Jenkins. Susan Jenkins. April 3rd, 1845 to November 21st, 1907. Sleep, Mother Dear. And take thy rest. God called thee home. He thought it best. Somebody's pissed off at us. Yeah. IBL Jenkins, February 19th, 1870, September 3rd, 1912. God's finger touched him and he slept. This is like remnants of a of a fence that probably went around the graveyard. Now it's just deer moss and forest for the most part. But at least we found it, thanks to Reverend Poole. Reverend Irvin Poole. Fun part's getting back. Just 150 yards. 